Hey guys, what's up? Red Panda Mining here. How y'all doing? I'm at my mining location and I'm working on a few things today. But first guys, I want to just show you what I got in the mail. Ah, oh, look at that guys. Aeon stickers from good old Yashnik from aeonpool.tech. I got to send some stickers and I can't wait to put them up. I don't know where yet, but I'm going to figure it out later. But thanks again, Yashnik, for, for the awesome stickers. Definitely going to order some other stuff from you later on. Thanks, man. So you guys may have saw my little vlog last week. I was uh, setting up this uh, MSI B360 motherboard, mining motherboard, and it was, I got it a real good deal. I explained that last week, so you guys can check it out. But uh, yeah, I got a few more parts, and I'm going to finally build up this rig and test it out. Uh, so I got like a, I had this spare 850 watt power supply, Corsair. It's just a gold rated PSU. And then I went ahead and bought six 140 millimeter fans. And I got them off of uh, Amazon. It's the, the up here up here LED uh, white LED fans 144 140 millimeter uh, I got the idea from Mr. Savage Mine because apparently you can put six 140, six 140 millimeter fans on here instead of eight or sorry instead of seven 120 millimeters so I decided to go with the bigger fans and put the 140 mil instead of the 120 mil and then uh, these are the brackets. I'll show you guys later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw them on on the fans, and then it'll just plop in right in the front here on the uh, Veta frame. So that'll be that'll be good. That'll be fun. And then I got a fan controller. Uh, this is a ten port or nine port four pin fan controller. And basically, I got this off Amazon for about uh, eight bucks. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. And basically, I'm gonna plug all the fans, uh, all the fans into here because uh, this motherboard does not have uh, enough four-pin fan uh, ports <laughs> for fans. So, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. And then. I'm going to test out this video card here. I got a GTX 1070 and a riser and I'm going to put that all on and test out this motherboard. Uh, I plan on just this power supply is just it's just going to be temporary. I have two power supplies coming from a good buddy and a good friend, Mr. Nefarious Fool. He's sending me two uh, server power supplies with the breakout boards and they were from uh, his trip from down to going to uh, Mr. Digital Gold. I don't know if some of you know him but uh, he's another massive YouTuber. He had a farm and whatnot and he had a bunch of stuff so Nefarious drove down and and grabbed a bunch of stuff so he's sending me a little care package and I should be receiving that next week. So I'm gonna be. I plan on putting the two, the two power supplies side side by side, and that that'll be good. So this this guy is just a just a test for now, just to test out the motherboard. Uh, but yeah, guys, another thing I wanted to show you that I'll be working on today is this this rig right here. I've been having some stability problems here. This is a six by GTX 1060. 1060 6 gigabyte version cards and the motherboards given me I believe the issue so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna update the the motherboard BIOS right now it's on F23 this is a this is a gigabyte H110 D3A motherboard and yeah I'm, I'm thinking maybe I'll just do a BIOS update to see if it'll solve some issues so if that's on F23 right now if we go over to my computer uh, I'll show you guys on the Gigabyte support website. Uh, let's go down to their BIOSes here at the very bottom. Maybe this will help some of you. So 
Uh, here you can download the BIOS specifically to your to your motherboard. So here we got the H110 D3A, and there's a new version F25A. So we I'm uh, I'm on F23. So hopefully this will help out a little bit. There's I bet there's been some fixes and whatnot. So uh, yeah, from time to time I always check this site, and there seems to be new BIOSes. So. If you guys have any of these motherboards, Gigabyte motherboards, or I'm sure any other other motherboards that you guys have, Asus or uh, BioStar or whatnot, check out your check out your website, the BIOS branded website, and check out. Just make sure you have your latest BIOS. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start with this guy. Let's go. All right, guys, it's all done. Got it all built. I got all the 644 millimeter fans on the Veta frame successfully. I'm I'm in a very OCD mode right now because this guy, this fan controller, and these the fan cables are just not long enough, and I can't I can't do anything nice to have it, you know, tucked in neat neatly under underneath here. It doesn't look great. So, I'm going to figure out later on 
maybe get some fan extenders or something because I don't I don't like it hanging here and plugging in the power cables and everything is is uh, is quite a pain so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know in the comments otherwise I'm probably just gonna find some these three pin fan extenders or something on Amazon somewhere I just I can't find a good way to have it leveraged here so I want to put this fan controller somewhere uh, on the Veta frame I'm sure I can find a, a hole somewhere and uh, instead of having it here I just I just don't like it like this but yeah pretty pretty simple pretty easy to put the frame uh, the, the fans sorry on onto the Veta frame and then I got the power supply in hooked up and the GTX 1070 all plugged in power cables and whatnot are all plugged in SSDs all in so let's boot it up and see what the uh, I'm just curious what the BIOS looks like on this board. I've never played around with it before. So this MSI uh, 18 PCIe slot board. So let's get to it. I'm going to plug it all in. Alright guys. <laughs> it My frame, this rig here, would not fit on this table. <laughs> uh, this this Veta frame is just way too long guys. Alright so uh, I got the keyboard, mouse, everything all plugged up, network cable, power cable. So let's let's turn it on. And luckily, oh, there is a power cable on here. Uh, power button, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Reset power right here. Okay, it's turning on. Uh, only some of the fans are working. That's cool. The other three fans are not working. Uh, nothing's coming up on the monitor. Okay, there's a light there. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, wait. I think I know what's happening. So I got the HDMI plugged into the motherboard, but the video card's also plugged into the PCI. Uh, I got a change in the BIOS to the onboard uh, uh, graphic card. Oh my gosh, this thing just came off. I hate this so much. Okay, only three, three out of the six fans are working, so <laughs> I'm going to figure that out right now. <sighs> Bad news, guys. Bad news. I think I shorted the motherboard or something. I don't know. It doesn't turn on anymore. The whole rig doesn't turn on anymore. So after I showed you guys only three of the fans were working, I plugged in the Molex uh, power connectors and it it turned on and then turned off. The rig just turned off. And at first I was like, oh, was it the power supply? I was I I unplugged everything. I tested the power supply with a paper clip. Power supply still turned on, video card still turned on. I tried a, another power supply here. Uh, an older Antec 650 watt on the motherboard here and still still doesn't turn on I've I don't know what happened I don't know how I was playing with the fans made the motherboard not work so that is super weird I'm <laughs> I'm gonna try a few more things but I feel super defeated right now I've never had this before so I'm gonna play around but yeah Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> I can't. I was going to show you guys the BIOS of this motherboard, and I'm not able to get it to work. So, wow, I feel super defeated. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the end of the video. That's all I wanted to show you guys, but I guess I didn't really show you. So, anyways, that's the end of the vlog. Sadness. Very sad. Very sad. But, anyways. 
at least these guys are still going. Still happy about these guys and my box wall. Alright guys, give this video a thumbs down because I broke something. So, but if you decide to give it a like, because I'm honest with you guys, I'd love that. But if not, dislike, I know why. <laughs> okay guys, see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. I appreciate all of you.